Hey, brothers and sisters, how are you? This is Anya. Oil is the name of Yeshua. I come to you in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Jesus Christus, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I decree and declare with my own mouth as Anna, tribe of Simeon, that Yeshua HaMashiach is Lord. The one and only statement spoken by the presence of the Holy Spirit inside of us. And of course, the statement via that was Abba Father's command through our beloved Messiah from the first book of John that I always guys teach you about. It's in chapter 4, verses 1 to 3. It goes as follows, where we must test the spirits, right? And we have to, when we get a vision or a dream or when we ask a person, you say, hey, can you please, I command, hey, spirit, I command you, or a person, can you, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth to say, if you're referring to a spirit of any kind, Say it out loud, Yeshua HaMashiach is come in the flesh, or Jesus Christ of Nazareth is come in the flesh. Full sentence, Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. So I decree and declare with my own mouth, Yeshua HaMashiach is come in the flesh. Amen. Praise and glory and honor be to Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Sorry about that. It was attached to a charger, and of course I forgot. So today's message right off the bat, I'm telling you it's short. And I want you to, guys, I, I recorded a long video in it. Listen, you are hearing my emotions. You're hearing the emotions Heavenly Holy Father has has announced through that three-hour video. I think it's three announcements. Definitely two announcements in which also later on. And please read that. If you can, read uh, always the description of the video. And if it's not the description of the video, also then read in majority of the cases, brothers and sisters, in the comment section, I direct you to where you should go. If there's nothing in the comment section, go to the description of the videos. In it, usually you will find something what's within the video. So you can know time-wise time what to ex what information you can look forward and what you're going to learn from it, what to expect. If there is, if there is a judgment coming and an announcement of a judgment, then there will be also a way out post it and of course heavenly holy father addresses the jews and gentiles on my channel as well as he has been addressing the good and the bad of course his priority are his children at all times all glory and honor be to yeshua hamashiach jesus christ of nazareth who is come in the flesh very 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 shortly however beloved bride of christ as i've said before in my the three-hour video the description of what the video is all about is actually as it was downloading before I had I had two hours before leaving for work instead of working um, on the house and doing my own laundry laundry I decided brothers and sisters to do the overall briefing which everyone can go and read so go to the chat uh, chat room of that particular video the three hour video from December 1st, 2023. I think this is when, yeah, that it was posted between December 30th and, the, uh, excuse me, November 30th, 2023 to December 1st, 2023. So the date, either way, it was two days ago, today. Today is Shabbat day. Today is December 2nd, 2023. And here we are in the United States of America on the East Coast. Hi, my name is Anna, or you can call me Oil. The name of this channel is Oil, is the name of Yeshua. And I come to you guys more, you're going to see more more of me. As opposed to just teaching when I have, I want to share with you all the teachings and everything Father is giving us because ultimately we have to cover that as soon as it comes out and as soon as, because there's people joining us and people are being awakened every single day, whether you were... Um, introduced to the covenant this morning or yesterday or 50 years ago listen to me there is a difference between what it means to be saved which is very easy super easy super quick right um, not gonna get into specifics see I always get into specifics and I want to give you that that 30 second or five minute answer on what it is this time I'm gonna avoid all of those things and if you are a true believer follower of Yeshua HaMashiach then it is your job to go and ask and to go and seek and as Yeshua said ask and you shall receive seek and you shall find so 
We all have been granted a free gift of grace, a free gift of salvation. Salvation is a free gift. All of us received it. All of us have, have to accept it. If you will not accept a gift of free gift of salvation, all by default are going to hell. And if you didn't know that, whether Jewish, Gentile, rich or poor, good or bad, that's just how it is. All of, this is why Heavenly Holy Father, God the Creator, is through people like me. I'm not here to judge you. I'm simply here. Please, brothers and sisters, I'm here to just pass on the messages because I hear him so, so well. Many of you out there, all of us as children of the Most High Yah, by, because you receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, which you either receive the gift of the Holy Spirit in accordance as it is written in the book of Ephesians under New Covenant. There's a book called the book of Ephesians chapter 1. Like in verse 14, Ephesians 1, 14, it tells us what a Holy Spirit is that is given unto us, like an engagement ring is given unto us. The Holy Spirit is given unto us, the bride of Christ, as the, Holy Spirit, as the engagement ring is given unto a bride. So within it, it's also briefly explained of what all of that means. So you have to go in there and time has come that many of you, you need to start learning on not only who Yeshua HaMashiach is as your Mashiach, as your Savior, particularly during his time of suffering, but also brothers and sisters, what Holy Spirit is, because our covenant, our, the whole free gift of salvation, this covenant is called the law of faith. So forget the word law, as I told you that word law under new covenant in the word is misused, especially when it comes to Paul and Peter and all these discussions. So again, I'm not going to address this today because the topic is too long, but the, but the more you will, if you will cover the basics and the more you're going to read the scriptures, the more you will occur to you that everything you've heard from Jesus and the Holy Spirit and someone like me, everything I say here, I don't speak on my own mind. I say as Heavenly Holy Father commands me to say it to you, my brothers and sisters. And when something is, that saith Yahweh, that saith the Lord, message from our Heavenly Holy Father, I emphasize that and I say it to you, my brothers and sisters. And if it's a message from Yeshua HaMashiach, I also emphasize which message and or teaching warning is from each one of them, including Holy Spirit, or whether it's just me speaking, but usually that's quite easy to tell. So hopefully that explains the basics. So please, for that last three hour video, go into, um, not the comment section, but please go look into the chat room. In the comment section, I guide you to the chat room of that video because as that video is rolling, the first whatever, I think it was actually up to even half hour, if not longer, I tell you the general review of where you need to be right now. And if you're not there to understand the covenant, that's okay. As long as you're... You might, number one, you must repent of all of your sins or as many as you remember. So do appropriate repentance in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Cover the basics on your knees. So in, in a so-called meek and humble position, we all must be when repenting of our sins. Why? Because majority of the people, brothers and sisters, they haven't even properly repented of their sins. Majority of people today in our church, are not even they have never even heard the appropriate gospel and in Ephesians chapter 1 says if you heard the God the true gospel if you heard the gospel of Yeshua HaMashiach Jesus Christ of Nazareth and you have believed it then then you then then you are then believe it and, and you are saved and you will receive a, a gift of the Holy Spirit or a seal of the Holy Spirit something like that depending on which of course I'm sure Bible version you, you possess or have purchased. Again, I suggest have King James Version, ver, Bible Version to read and then have something easier to read like NIV. But don't go lower anything than NIV. Don't go any more modern than that. Don't go just, just, just you, you, even with KJV, at first when you read any of them, even NIV, it's going to sound like, what is this? I don't even understand what it says here. It's, don't get frustrated. Just, just read it again. And if you get frustrated, you get on your knees, especially if you still have peace and you have peace because 
This is the time where you, all of you, my brothers and sisters, priority is, I don't care what you will learn about this covenant, which you, Holy Spirit, will lead each, each and every single one of us to your very specific lessons, along with wisdom. Why with wisdom? Because a wise virgin obviously has wisdom. So you need to, in order to understand what wisdom is, you need to know who we first Yeshua Mashiach is as a human, as a suffering servant, as a Mashiach, as a King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Prince of Peace, as the Word of Yahweh, the Word of God, and of course, uh, who became flesh, human body, and dwelled among us. Uh, word flesh is misused just as the word law, because the old covenant was called the law of sin, the law of death, and that no longer exists. That co There's only one covenant on earth, and it's called basic unofficial name, covenant of grace, covenant of the blood of Jesus, covenant of mercy and grace and forgiveness. But the official name is in the book of Romans, chapter 3, verse 27. It's called the law of faith. Because the precept over all divine law tells us under new covenant we are saved by grace through faith, not that of not that of ourselves or yourselves. It is a gift of our heavenly holy father, not of works, lest any man should boast. Meaning no amount of good works, good deeds will save us. Only us accepting the free gift of grace, a gift of salvation, whatever is that Heavenly Holy Father was teaching through Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and whatever Yeshua HaMashiach did as Heavenly Holy Father commanded His only begotten Son, yet still God in the flesh, to do for us, which was to die on a cross for our sins and the sins of the world, that we must believe in, and we must all study specifically and only that, not a word more, not a word less. And we must have a, pray for a spirit of prophecy because by receiving a spirit of prophecy, after you ask for a gift of the Holy Spirit, if you're not sure if you have the Holy Spirit, simply ask for the gift of the Holy Spirit. And if you want with it uh, prior to asking, simply say, Heavenly Holy Father, if I have sinned since the last time I've repented, since we are under grace, technically you don't have to do this, but why take chances when you're addressing the Most High Creator to regard the Creator, to have a fear of Yahweh, fear of God, and, ha and in addition, you must also have a hatred of all evil brothers and sisters to even receive a free gift of uh, wisdom. So why not just drop to your knees and say, Holy Father, please forgive me for for cursing, for saying bad words. I got really mad. Forgive me, I got mad, mad. Help me to deal with this person better. Help me forgive them. Help me cope with that stress that I'm under. Help me, Father, deal better when I'm under witchcraft attacks, even though they should not be happening against us children of the Most High Yah. Why? Because we are Christians and we have the Holy Spirit, meaning God, Christ Spirit in us. That means that Jesus Christ is as if in us. That means Holy Spirit is the Spirit of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit is the Spirit of Heavenly Holy Father, Yahweh's Spirit. I praise you, Yahweh. That means that Abba Father, neither will Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yeshua, HaMashiach, they will never bow to no witch, to no warlock, to no Satan, to no demon. So you, your perspective must be what's inside of you. That he will never bow to no devil, to no demon, to no witch, to no warlock, to no wizard. I don't care what they do to you. So don't try to scare you, of course. And that's the thing, and that's the thing, that our church isn't prepared for the persecution that has always existed, still exists. They're living a delusion, particularly people here in the Western world, like, you know, Australia, Western, Western world countries, United States of America, Western European countries, this is this is this is where the topic of the rapture is even known. Topic of a rapture in Central Europe, I never heard of it. I never heard of a rapture in any other church or not in Germany when I when I lived there briefly, not in Poland when I lived there for many many years, and when I was in Russia, I never heard of a rapture. I don't know what a rapture was till a few years ago, and I've been saved. Soon it will be five years. Well, I believe in Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I thought I was a Christian my whole life, but of course I did not know that I needed to repent of my sins as an adult. I was baptized in the name of Abba Father, Yeshua Mashiach, and the Holy Spirit, Ruach HaKodesh, 
as a baby, um, I think at two months old about or so, eight, I think I was eight weeks, eight weeks old or about, I just turned eight weeks old, something to that effect. Point being, brothers and sisters, majority of our people today, and I don't want this to be a downer. It appears to be that even my encouraging messages suck and I don't want them to suck. I want you to come here and, and, and know, listen, you know what? I know the messages are, are tough to hear, but I know that, the, that she's pre Abba Father sent me there for a reason to prepare me so that I know what to expect in, in the coming days. Everything is about to turn upside down to the th in the three-hour video, and I'm going to follow up with uh, about one-hour video explaining to you and adding it on another additional scriptures that our Heavenly Holy Father gave me explaining to why this time these judgments will not be overturned. These judgments will not be nullified for no intercession, no, nothing and no one. Intercede for one another, for your families, for your pets, for your houses, for your land. You can intercede for your bloodlines. You can intercede for your, you know, take care of brothers and sisters of one another. To love one another to means to love Christ Jesus. And remember that the most greatest command that Yeshua Mashiach ever taught us, and I address this in the three-hour video, and I tell you, in the three-hour video, there is a, there is, I addressed a topic that, of course, if you want to be glorified with Jesus Christ of Nazareth, meaning you want to be taken in a rapture, rescued, then you have to suffer with Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And many people wrongly today claim that they've already suffered for Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We've suffered because of our, our own wrongdoing, other people's wrongdoing. Yes, we've suffered. But I'm talking to suffer for the name of Jesus when, for example, you are tortured for the name of Jesus because you were doing something for Jesus and for the kingdom of heaven and, and or carrying the cross for yourself and Jesus Christ, let's say, and you were tortured like the angel of the church of Philadelphia. It's a she. It's his sister and a wife, I believe, possibly wisdom herself. By the way, wisdom is a tree of life. And yes, that's the mystery that Yeshua revealed to us who the Holy Spirit is, that the Holy Spirit is also a tree of life. So, brothers and sisters, is Holy Spirit and wisdom one and the same? Could be. Um, it appears to be. She tells us in the book of, excuse me, book of, book of wisdom, that she's one of the first, uh, first Abba Father's creation of long ago. So, if not one of, she says, one of the first creation, creations. So, she's, She's, um, just as we know for a fact that Elijah Hanavi is not going to be an actual male Elijah from back in the day coming visiting the earth. And we know that from Heavenly Holy Father's testimony, I released that to you guys. It's going to be as if an anointing and a title on a woman that is that Esther type, a type of, um, I don't want to say a savior because Yeshua HaMashiach is one, our one and only savior, our one and only Zema, the branch, our one and only Mashiach. So, you know, I feel uncomfortable using these words, but in those Bible codes, Abba Father's testimonies, it does say that apparently this end of days, sign of Jonah, which I believe is the sign of Jonah. Jonah means what? A dove. A dove represents what? The Holy Spirit. Brothers and sisters, I believe that you know, this, as I told you, or those of you who studied who wisdom is, who Holy Spirit is, who studied Yeshua HaMashiach in detail and, 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 and the, 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 the bride and the, the and bridegroom, you know where it led you. And it led you to back to the book of Esther, Song of Solomon, all kinds of psalmery. And also eventually the Holy Spirit led has some of you to Abba Father's testimony. And of course, through that testimony, you've been shown who wisdom is and that this woman, a human, a regular human like you and me, was adopted by our Heavenly Holy Father as his only begotten daughter also. And that she is uh, was chosen to carry the cross for Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And this is why the, the, all the demons, Satan and the occult hates her. And she is symbolically 100% wisdom. And she's 100% symbolically representative, or at least that she's filled so much with the Holy Spirit. So um, she's holy. She represents New Jerusalem. New Jerusalem is forever free and holy. 
Do you understand what I'm trying to read in between the lines? She is here on earth and she needs your prayer. She's heavily persecuted and attacked. And they, those people have family, close and distant families. And this person is actually married to Yeshua HaMashiach. This person, this is the, an actual wife of Yeshua HaMashiach. No one will divorce Yeshua HaMashiach from his wife. We, the rest of us, we are running this race. After we were saved, that us being saved allowed us to be run the race. And to, in, as we run this race, that's when the Holy Spirit started teaching me all, because I was striving all about Jesus, all about Yeshua. You need to know nothing about everything about Yeshua HaMashiach and nothing and no one else until you will ask because our covenant is all is a spiritual covenant and our covenant is about Heavenly Holy Father Abba Father is a spirit Yahweh is a spirit because our covenant is called in accordance to Romans 327 the law of faith forget the word law just let's say it's for A to Z it means all about faith right Romans 327 and then in Romans 8 1 it says the law of, which is the law of his spirit what spirit Ruach HaKodesh the Holy Spirit and of course Abba Father as the spirit so we need to study who God the Father is your Jesus Christ of Nazareth wisdom is and who the Holy who the Holy Spirit is wisdom is so on and so forth so only you can get there with your own oil, with your own time, because I share my oil with all of you, my brothers and sisters, but you still have to go and test the spirits. And in the meantime, go ask questions at your pace on those particular topics. But first and foremost, you need to, in the meantime, develop that intimate relationship with Heavenly Holy Father and Abba and Yeshua HaMashiach and Ruach HaKodesh with each one of them individually so that you can hear them also individually or at least with one of them like Holy Spirit and Jesus Christ Yeshua our intercessor Holy Spirit our advocate John 14 26 until eventually Abba Father will also come and you will learn to discern his voice also because we have to learn to discern the voice of Christ first and foremost and the voice of Ruach HaKodesh and the Holy Father so that you can take his orders, instruction, and direction as he's molding us and shaping us, or you will not even enter the kingdom of heaven in any shape or form, my brothers and sisters, because to enter the kingdom of heaven, we need all white, fine linen and or appropriate gowns for that wedding party. Well, for the wedding party, then we need to be to receive that. In the book of Revelation, Yeshua explains to us it means we need to have appropriate gowns as I said fi white fine linen or fine linen so what does it why that fine linen represents where well, it says it represents the good deeds works of the saints oh, okay well I'm doing lots of good works good deeds people think I thought that too and guess what father immediately corrected me he says no Anna do you remember that precept when Yeshua, I think it's in the book of John, when uh, I, I, me, it's me personally saying, not what, the father, not what the Father said, when Yeshua says, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven unless you are all about heavenly, holy Father's business. Well, my brothers and sisters, this is what Father corrected me that day with and helped me realize. And this is why I'm repeating this over and over again, because people who think that they're getting in just by saying one quick little brief prayer and, oh, I believe in God so much. I believe in Jesus so much. My faith, I'm so full of faith. Ooh, I'm in. Honey, you got saved, but you never even started to run the race. What about your process of purification? What about you being tested and tried when Jesus and told us, uh, prepared us on how to prepare ourselves for the trials and testings of our for, from our heavenly holy father which in then in return also purify us which in return then also uh, father and yeshua Mashiach in return then comes to us and reveals himself to us as god the father god the father comes to us as abba father yahweh i praise you God the Father Yahweh, I praise you. He is the head of Yeshua Hamashiach, and Yeshua Hamashiach comes and reveal himself, himself to us, to you, to me. And he's the head of the church. For it is written, that's by the way, a precept of Colossians, 1 Colossians chapter 11, verse 3. That will never change. 
from this is how it's going to be for eternity from now on so being saved only allowed us to start the process of us wanting to know Yeshua HaMashiach more and more and Abba Father more, Holy Spirit more and then of course wise virgin you're supposed to figure it out why wise virgin needs wisdom so you gotta go ask for wisdom so I made it easier for all of you Jews and Gentiles rich or poor if you come in out of wickedness and you are truly wicked you're coming out of Satanism or whatever I'm even made I told you what is will be and is expected of all of us already today and if you are not persecuted it's because you are not defending the gospel and or fighting for Yeshua HaMashiach nor have it nor have you made yourself a living sacrifice as you were supposed to do by now if you were saved let's say years and years ago I was saved five years ago I mean uh, by then I was didn't know I was already a living sacrifice I volunteered even before repentance to carry the cross for Yeshua HaMashiach I already I already did that then in the meantime I picked up my own cross I realized I have to pick up my own cross I have to pick up my own cross first right and 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 so of course I picked up my own cross and in the meantime father molds our shapes as he prunes us right because Jesus says Yeshua says I am the vine you are the branches we are from Jews come salvation we know Jesus Christ of Nazareth is a Jew so of course we were just as Gentiles the Greeks we were grafted in onto the Jews right Jesus is the vine and he's Jewish right so of course we're not going to be now suddenly violently broken off that vine or the vine one who rip off the Jews and throw them away somewhere and just take us the Gentiles away who are who just got say said one quick little prayer and are gone that makes zero sense we are here where you are tested and tried and you're going to be purified because Abba Father said in Zechariah 13 and I address this again in the three-hour video explaining to you because this is the this is what's happening right now in it he warns it's terrifying I, I want you to be one of those people that makes it because somebody in your family today whoever you live with will not make it or may not make it and I pray that it's no one in your family or my family but in it father says in Zechariah chapter 13 that two-thirds of his own children worldwide for today this was prophecy for then but it's for today also that and addressing 12 tribes of Israel Israel so that Jews and Gentiles that the two-thirds of his children will rebel against him will deny and or renounce his teachings what teachings? Teachings about that Yeshua HaMashiach is returning so that Yeshua HaMashiach is the, the Messiah, the one and only, the Son of God, Yahweh, the, the God in a, in a human body, in a human flesh, Himself who died on the cross for our sins and the sins of the world, who, who was a Jew, who offered that covenant to the Jews first and then us Gentiles second. And if you are Gentile, FYI, remain a Gentile. Don't become a Jew. There's no multiple wives under new covenant. You know who I'm talking about, you, you, Adam? Stop. This is how the devil got in there. You cannot mix covenants because then, then in Romans chapter 4, the promise can there, it, it says in there what can be nullified. And Satan no one knows all those. He's like a legalist. He's like a super bad lawyer, but a sharp lawyer. You understand? But you have a Holy Spirit advocate who can, if you remain a Jew as a Jew, a Gentile as a Gentile, remain first in, in studying first and foremost what the new covenant is. Because it's the only covenant that exists on this earth. All that old stuff was nailed to the cross. It doesn't exist. That old covenant called the love, sin, the law of death, consisting of 613 pomegranate laws, was, I repeat, nullified, canceled, nailed to the cross, done, fulfilled. The law and the prophets were fulfilled. Yeshua HaMashiach fulfilled them. Meaning, expression is, Abba Father refers to that, and the disciples, the apostles, and Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Word of God, Himself as being nailed to the cross. What was also nailed to the cross, brothers and sisters, 2,000 years ago, is not only that old covenant called the love sin, the love death, that no longer exists, so you cannot celebrate it, you cannot eat, uh, be a Kabbalist and eat, eat of the tree of knowledge of good and evil and say, oh, I, re I repented of my sins on my knees and I ask for the gift of the Holy Spirit because you, you're not going to get that Holy Spirit seal. 
Why? Because you you went you you went right back to God knows you're gonna go back to eating of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, and that me that means you would blaspheme the Holy Spirit. You will, well, or at least you will excuse me. You will blaspheme heavenly Holy Father and Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You will become antichrist. You are becoming whether you understand this or not antichristic in your be in your behavior. You cannot cheat God. You cannot lie to God that I want to change my life. I don't want to, I don't want to be in that Kabbalah. I don't want to be. You cannot serve the devil. Kabbalah is serving the devil. You want to serve Yeshua HaMashiach and Heavenly Holy Father. So you cannot partake in a cup of the devils and then and do and then hope that the Messiah will somehow forgive you last minute. No. If he called you to repentance as a Jew today, you have to do it today. ASAP. If he called you to repentance and as a Gentile and to shut down your lying ministries. For all those false prophets and that are, have been surrounding some of very famous uh, politicians like number 45. I mean, does, that, that's the spirit of Jezebel. Those are, those are the, these people are literally, some of them are demon possessed. And those are his, those were the number 45's spiritual advisors. So who, who do you think this person is? Is his Holy Spirit filled? Someone who tells you to your face worldwide i will never repent of my sins because i don't think i've done anything wrong that's the spirit of antichrist yeshua told you through himself and through his apostles anyone who refuses to say and uh, and proclaim out loud that jesus christ is, that yeshua is the christ that jesus christ of Nazareth is the christ and who refuses to say yeshua hamashiach is come in the flesh is a liar and the ink and the Antichrist. Second John chapter 9. Excuse me, verse 9. Second John verse 9. It's a short letter. Go read it. Very important letter. Go read it. There's three, if not four, very important short topics in it. Just super short, super short letter John wrote. And 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 he's very he's very upset in it. As uh the Spirit, Holy Spirit is grieved right now. Grieved. Just as wisdom is upset and grieved also along with the Holy Spirit. And if you have wisdom and Holy Spirit within you, imagine how many, how much more, how many, how many more, too many more things and faster you will get done if you will be praying every day. Don't pray in your own words. Praise, praise and worship in the morning before you wake up. So make Jesus first before you pick up that phone. Make Yeshua HaMashiach first. If you know you're going to, uh, if you're going to wake somebody up, just say it in your head. I praise you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Hallelujah to Yeshua HaMashiach. I love you, Yahweh. I love you, Yeshua HaMashiach. I exalt your name on, on holy. Hallelujah. Get up and pick up the phone and see then what time it is. Make it one sentence. Don't make three sentences like I just told you. I'm just giving you an example. Make Yeshua HaMashiach first. Use his Hebrew name, Yeshua HaMashiach, and Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Because we were all saved by Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus Christus of Nazareth is the name above all names, which is Yeshua HaMashiach of Nazareth is the name above all names. I use it as both so we can relate to Jews and the newcomers, the old comers, the old timers, whomever, whatever. We are here for the sinners. We are not turning any sinner away from this from this tiny little ministry because this is a ministry. This ministry is heavily, heavily persecuted because it saves people. Because the you, your hour here on this channel, listening to, to this intently, taking notes, and then going back when you have time, you will review and listen to these lessons again because I speak fast. Why? Because I have a lot of things to tell you and show you because I want to get to the meat part. This is just the basics. This is the basics. And time has come for all of you to get off milk. Reading scriptures, interceding for other people, you can do on your own personal time at home. You should be doing this in accordance as Heavenly Holy Father commands you. So uh, j just for the record. Um, so don't, don't, you know, we, we, uh, pray, uh, awesome prayers for brothers and sisters, binding, casting out devils, uh, doing them sometimes over online. Uh, for some people, it should be done. But overall, my brothers and sisters, remember, remember what, what overall teachings on those topics are. And if you're not sure, again, that is you must go and seek those topics overall. It, it, remember, don't 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 do something to make this an income because you what was freely given onto us, we cannot charge money for. If you want to open up some uh, suggestion uh, uh, and uh, some kind of an application for donation, 
Um, if Heavenly Holy Father said yes in your case, then do it. Uh, but remember, over all um, 2,000 years ago, Yeshua told all his apostles, as John, Paul, and John even said, or Peter, all of his apostles had jobs. All of his people and those whom they were training to teach had jobs so that they would not be a burden to anyone they were staying with. Same as today. A lot of you, uh, you are out there traveling and you're pro 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 proclaiming the gospel, Father provides, but you expect more. You want entire, you think you're going to continue on doing this and receive ministries. Honey, Father is moving all of us around and most likely this is not, you know, I never say never because it's up to the Father what He will bless you with. So don't lose hope, guys. But overall, read the gospel and see what was expected then of the apostles and the apostles and the disciples and remember that don't tithe to this to this money were for the priests who were to be supported by the citizens uh, who came to the temple and that was given in food in olive oil in wine in meat in in, in do you understand it wasn't given in money uh, money was only a small amount and, and by specific people, depending on who had what. Brothers and sisters, to this, the 10% work to support the temple. We, we are not under Old Covenant. There is no temple. You are the temple of the Most High Yahweh. You, the moment you repented of your sins and you believed in the gospel of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you the moment you believed who Yeshua HaMashiach is, you became a temple of the Most High Yahweh and you received a spirit of a seal of the Holy Spirit seal upon your forehead so but by the way all everything within you is sealed your mind body soul spirit your thoughts your heart your DNA your neurons your neurotransmitters your your veins orders everything can skin can get sealed everything got sealed spiritually physically interdimensionally however whatever however it works Every, I, all I know is that everything is sealed by the power of the precious blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, by the power of the name above all names. Lord Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, sealed us head to toe. So remember, guys, work on what the covenant is. And remember, prepare for the already existing persecution. You will be here to hear, to see the sign of Jonah. You will be here to see, to see and hear the two witnesses. You if you haven't been persecuted, it's because you probably are about to face some persecution. Yeshua spoke of verbal persecution. That's, you know, uh, that's, that's, of course, still is a persecution. But remember that overall, the apostles and children of the Most High God in the end of days will be persecuted physically. And their torture is definitely involved. And that has happened to me. That has happened in the privacy of my home by very wicked evil people and by Satan himself and by very particular female demon called Queen of Heaven, Lilith, Ishtar, Hathor, demons like that, and many other male demons. It doesn't matter. You can see a lot of that in those Bible codes that other people have posted and some of them I have posted on my channel so you can review them with dates because it shows certain when the attacks took place and or whom they are persecuting and sometimes you can see what humans have summoned them so uh, that's again in order to know how to read a bible code which is heavenly holy father's testimony because it comes from the words of god the words of the lord who is the word of god Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach. So the Bible code, if it's, let's say, whether it's from Genesis or from the book of Jeremiah or from the book of Matthew, it's still the words, the words, spoken words of Yahweh, meaning Yeshua HaMashiach spoke them. And if they're spoken by our Heavenly Holy Father, it's who, when Abba Father speaks, you still hear Jesus. There's still Yeshua HaMashiach spoken words. So that, brothers and sisters, means this is what Yeshua said. I've declared the beginning, the end from the beginning. That's what he also means, you know, his testimony through scriptural Bible codes. To read them properly, you definitely need a Holy Spirit and you definitely need to get on your knees and ask for guidance in, and assistance in reading the, each Bible code separately, individually. Some were created where Heavenly Holy Father, Yeshua HaMashiach, wanted the enemies to know 
that he is referring to them too, because a lot of them, a lot through a lot of them, he has been releasing judgments against those who have assaulted his wife and bride, sister, the angel of the Church of Philadelphia, the Esther type, the Elijah Hanavi type, but that's a whole other story. The, so the, the obedient daughter Zion, the one symbolic of New, Jer New, New Yerushalayim, holy, eternally free, faithful and true, most loyal, most pure heart, most loving, kind, pure heart, lo by loyalty, by, by patience, by your patience you shall possess your souls. And remember, wisdom teaches loyalty is better than sacrifice and, out of, and we still obey Ten Commandments under the New Covenant. And please remember that the most important covenant is to love one another, to forgive one another. I provide here a lot of information, but it's because you can download it and then you can break it down in 15 minute lessons increments or as you will feel the lesson ends and another begins, especially when I'm when I'm going in. I'm building up to the messages that Heavenly Holy Father gives me. I explain what was then, what's now, to whom is it addressed, and why. I give you oftentimes dates and or approximate timelines now so that you will know and understand that this is not going to be reversed and that you will see it manifest, you will see it happen. Everything else has manifested also. Uh, oftentimes the things I spoke about, not, not even one person, no, I think one person noticed only in f um, four years that what I'm posting is actually manifested and it's in those Bible codes. But the, I don't, this person did, didn't refer to uh, to the names of this, this person and or um, the dates. Point being is, those of you who do you understand what's going on here on this channel, this tiny little mystery, I'm here to assist you and to get you through this process of persecution. You will be here. You will not be whisked away, and it's not to depress you. It is so that you can be glorified with Christ Jesus when the time comes. So right now, simply prepare for suffering. If you are suffering with Christ Jesus now, that's perfect. You must learn to c control those nerves and don't not to say something wicked and or mean against Yeshua Hamashiach. You must control that tongue. You must learn to control that 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 uh, ego pride that wants to pop out and especially when. Uh, as that's happening, remember, the, this is Abba Father testing us. He's refining you. And at the same time, what if a demonic attack will come? Where they might start palpitating your heart, raising your temperature as just in your face. You'll feel hot and sweaty. You'll feel maybe sometimes like you're going to have a heart attack or like you're dying. Don't be scared. Remember, it's just a demonic attack. And remember that greater is he who dwells within you than the wonders of, the, than the wonders of this world. Don't call the police. Don't, don't call, excuse me, 911. Remember, it is a demonic attack. Take charge. We have to take it by force. And this is what Yeshua HaMashiach was teaching. Our church is not prepared to endure what's already here. They're in La La Land and they are falling heavily asleep as they're being purchased by silver, as they, be, they're, they themselves are purchasing silver by the people who proclaim themselves Christians and yet they are serving still Satan. I know they look like Christians. Maybe it's even you who's listening, but even if it is you, you I'm telling you he's going to push you to the left, you and your family. Even though under Old and New Covenant, again, may I remind you, each person's righteousness is only their own, and each person's unrighteousness is only their own. Parents are not responsible for children's sins, and children are not responsible for um, children's sins. Children are not responsible for parents' sins. So whether this is in the book of Isaiah, I forget now, what was it? Isaiah 17, somewhere up there in early earlier chapters of the book of Isaiah 17. All the scriptures I've given you is to proclaim that Heavenly Holy Father, all the warnings He have given and final warnings to many people out there, false prophets, false teachers, their false ministries. He says, no more, you're done. He's shutting you down. And He's hoping that you will repent, that those people will repent, and that they will come to Him on, on their knees, face down, laying down face, and, 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 and that you will be repenting asking for mercy and forgiveness so that he can fill you up with his mercy and goodness and love and kindness or otherwise remember guys it's it's you know wisdom t says in in proverbs 17 11 um 
an evil man seeketh only only rebellion and only a, a cruel messenger shall be dispatched against him or her. You don't want that. And you don't want that. We don't want that for ourselves. We don't want t Hebrews 10.31 where Abba Father himself says, It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of a living Yahweh. I praise you, Yahweh. Hallelujah. So don't rebel. Remember, brothers and sisters, you cannot... I want you to be the... I want you to understand that there is a huge difference between being saved and what it means to run the race. To run the race means you allowing Abba Father to mold you, to shape you to, into a person that He wants you to become so that you can be prepared f to endure the persecution that He will send your way and that He, Abba Father Himself, will persecute you with, to test you, to try you, and it, persecution is a wrong word. He will test you and try you with. As in Zechariah chapter 13, Holy Father says, I quote, for my family members, I won't go, therefore I'm going to test you and try you as gold tested, as, as gold and silver is tested and tried as, and I'm going to purify you as silver is purified seven times over. He wants us to be his gold, just like the apostles were gold. So go study what happened to Jesus. Remember, the clay will never outgrow the potter. You're hearing crazy messages, visions, dreams. Well, did Jesus have them? Should, first question should be in your mind. Did, did the Holy, well, this Holy Spirit only talks about Jesus. Holy Spirit only glorifies Jesus Christ of Nazareth. All messages and dreams would be then and visions through the Holy Spirit. Okay, well, does it match who the Holy Spirit is? So this is why studying who the Holy Spirit is so important. No, okay, well, mm, okay, well, let's, let's, let's still test the spirits in accordance to First John chapter 4, verses 1 to 3. Hey, Holy Father, in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, I'm testing the spirits behind Joey's message, blah, blah, blah. You're getting no answer for two days, three days. In the meantime, you're reading scriptures and you're getting like, mm, doesn't add up to like, I, 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 I. Jesus didn't have those set type of visions. Uh, Moses never had those kind of visions or dreams. Elijah, Elisha, uh, Mary Magdalene. Uh, well, it's not looking good. Neither Joel nor Habakkuk, not the minor prophets, not the Jeremiah, not the Isaiah. Mm. The clay, us human beings, we will never outgrow the potter, meaning Yeshua HaMashiach, in our abilities, in our uh, potential. We are only human beings and everything that we do, Jesus, Yeshua Mashiach, does through us. Abba Father does through us, through the Holy Spirit. And in order for you to receive even the latter rain, you have to hear Jesus Christ of Nazareth and you have to hear Heavenly Holy Father so you can be all about His holy divine will, business so-called, sort of speak. Like Jesus was all about His Father's business. And we know about it because he mentioned this at least two, if not three times, to his own parents when he was like 10 years old, 9 years old, and then 13 years old. So that's important. And Yeshua says, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven unless you will have, you will be all about heavenly Holy Father's business. In another teaching, Yeshua says, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven unless you will have three types of baptism. Baptism of the Holy Spirit, baptism of water, and baptism of fire. I want you, you can, you can, as you're praying for baptism of, fire, of water to receive, you must, re, may you receive baptism of fire. Pray to receive baptism of fire. And you're going to be filled with that zealfulness and expect to be corrected. And then take the correction. Don't get upset and, and correct yourself. If he's asking you, hey, we're, we're going to phase you out of smoking cigarettes, then, then, then be like, all right, I'm ready. Cool. Let's do it. Hey, we're going to uh, work a little bit better on your health. All right, cool. Let's going to do it. Hey, we're going to try to minute the, the intake on your medication or whatever is you're taking. This you don't need. This I will heal you with, but not the rest. Whatever his decision will be for you, for me, for now, for whatever it is. Just be grateful, be thankful, praise and worship. And remember, there's always somebody else who has better, but there's so many more people who has it, who have it worse. And I want you to be that person that whether you received one mina or three minas or five minas, I want you to multiply them. I don't want you to be that servant that had received one mina and you had that one beautiful book you wrote and you decided to 
print it and no one can buy it because it's so expensive and you don't want to share the stories from the book about your wonderful story of deliverances and miracles and everything Jesus gave you, Abba Father gave you and Holy Spirit provided you with and how wonderful of synchronicities your life was for so, such a long time and still maybe is today. I sure hope that it is. I know so. If you truly, because what was freely given, I repeat unto and you or me, we must freely share, but you still, you must still go get your own oil, which means that your lamp, your human spirit needs its own oil. So you have to go, I have to go and on our knees, we have to go and ask for that oil ourselves. And that oil you need in order to know that and feel confident that you have it. As a wise virgin has wisdom, as a wise virgin has not only her own human spirit, lamp filled proverbs 20 27 filled with oil what oil is this first song of Solomon third third verse so song of Solomon 1 3 that's where the definition of what oil is is located you need also a multitude of vessels filled with oil brothers my beloved wise virgin brothers and sisters because both wise and foolish virgins heard the call of Yahuwah uh, at midnight and, and they both, excuse me, even before getting up at midnight, they both, they both fell asleep. They didn't mean that you fell asleep spiritually. I sure hope not. It just meant that, you know, that we're supposed to, we're the children of the day, but because you, what was Jesus teaching during the time of great darkness when he was very, very, very sorrowful, very, very, even scared to a degree, concerned. And he says, Father, if it will be your will, he, he needed closeness, he didn't need comfort, he needed love. He, what, what that's a teaching that don't, if, you, if God is waking you up in the middle of the night, and you, and you know it's not Satan, you know it's Yeshua, you know it's Abba Father. You're going to be up until that person is comforted. You're going to pray. You're going to say, Holy Father, in the name of Yeshua Mashiach, I am here to serve you. How can I serve you, my merciful Heavenly Holy Father? Lord of Lords, I praise you. Yeshua, Jesus, I praise you. Let me comfort the one who is suffering. Let me suffer for the one who is suffering. Let me suffer. Let's suffer together. And just start, start, start praying for that child, for that man, for the woman, whoever it is, man, woman, female. Just imagine that you are praying for someone who is suffering suffering who is in mental physical spiritual anguish or all of the above do you understand and you you and and for you are you are it's called a, a type of it's a spiritual intercession so you you are up for example let's say between the hours of 12 12 a.m and 3 a.m i've done that for a long time right after i got saved i was an intercessor sometimes for hours during the day and hours at night time every day until he called me no more and then every now and then I did very difficult missions that involved uh, a lot of suffering and even torture because the devil was enraged that he knew that someone was uh, being going to be saved because a prayer of a righteous woman availeth much a prayer of a righteous man availeth much so you're a righteous woman and your prayers availeth much so you believe that you trust that don't compare yourself to me what I know or I do what I know or, or I, you, you don't know or I know it doesn't matter make sure first and foremost right now it, because if you don't have a pure heart none of that is that matters if you if you go obey all those uh, as a Christian uh, Jewish holidays but you don't you cannot hear 100% the Holy Spirit or Jesus Christ of Nazareth or but you study the calendar and you think that the Holy Spirit gave you the calendar and you heard the calendar no, honey, impossible. You, you most likely copy that off of another person. And if that person didn't produce the fruits worthy of repentance, how on earth did he receive that information on a calendar? Think about it. It makes no sense. It's backwards. Calendar will come when we will be Gentiles and Jews unified in a desert as 12 tribes of Israel, if we will be still here on earth and alive. And, and the bride of Christ, the good news, remember, overcomes the spirit of Antichrist by the spirit of the prophecy. So pray to receive the spirit of prophecy in the name of Jesus. Pray and you shall overcome. Ask to survive whatever you need. Ask to be equipped in the best possible mental, physical, and most of all spiritual lessons that will help you overcome the spirit of Antichrist, that will help you teach others 
to overcome the spirit of Antichrist. Pray for patience and patient endurance. As Yeshua emphasized twice over, by your patience, you shall possess your souls. By your patience, listen to me, by your patience, you shall possess your souls, brothers and sisters. Remember, by your patience, you shall possess your souls. Be wise as a serpent and gentle as a dove. You will see it. You will recognize it and hear it, and then you will know it. What is that sign of Jonah, end of day sign? Sign of Jonah, Shroud of Turin, discussions on the Shroud of Turin from very two specific people, and many other people who are holy, faithful, and true are still coming. Remember, you, you 144,000 are not sealed right now. No one is sealed right now with that second seal. That's 144,000 will be sealed. That's coming towards the end of sixth seal after the two witnesses will be risen from the dead by Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yeshua Mashiach, and the spirit of Yahweh himself, themselves. In up in the clouds they shall meet. So the world will see them being rescued and they'll be risen from the dead. It's going to be televised and they're going to be in sheer terror. And then a earth, huge earthquake will happen and 7,000 people will die. But it says that the saints will be here still on earth. Holy Spirit sealed saints will be still here on earth. And they will give Gl Abba Father Yeshua Mashiach glory. Which means what, Bride of Christ? That we will be here even most likely past that point. Why? Because that's when we will be saving Jews. Because unfortunately, majority of them will fall for following the Antichrist spirit. And the Antichrist himself and or they will at least will be here, brothers and sisters, till some trumpets. Because all I know is that I think even up to the first, if not second ball of wrath, people will be saved. Because even when his father will be torturing them, will allow Abaddon and his uh, scorpions uh, to torture them, the people who are Satanists, people who will have no seal of Yahweh upon their forehead. So that tells us where the seal of Abba Father is upon their foreheads. Remember, brothers and sisters, that they all must reach repentance. It's not a choice, good or bad. You must all repent of your sins. Do you hear me? Read that carefully. At first, I didn't understand that. I thought it's like, oh, what do you, they don't want to? They don't want to just go to hell. If that's true, they will experience demonic torture even before hell in hell on earth. And then they'll experience literally wormwood, Gehenna, hell, planet X, hell, directly somehow during those balls of wrath. And then hell, hell, deep in ground where the actual hell is. Um, because you must remember that Jesus was teaching us that the great day of the Lord will be revealed by, by fire. And each one of us, uh, it will be known to the Father and the Son, Holy Spirit, and to each one of us, you know, how we build our spiritual home. On straw? Or did we build our spiritual house on solid foundation, solid spiritual foundation, which is uh, knowing Yeshua HaMashiach intimately as a wise virgin and having him as our foundation and as our cornerstone and having him knowing him intimately to such level and of course heavenly holy father also where he goes and co will go and uh, confess your name in front of the angels in heaven and heavenly holy father and will say yes i know tommy i know joseph i i know anna yes i know them we suffered together they, I called them, and they, they were like this. Abba Father, remember when you needed a living sacrifice? And Anna said, yes, take me. And you did. And this girl was barely, 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 uh, two days after repentance, of, after her sins. She was right there with you, or even before it. Because I didn't know how to do it. Or I just, I, I, I don't know at what point to, to, to count. I'm telling you seriously. So I think I repented a few times, but like that, that last time when I did, I counted from December of 2000, end of 2017, seven, 18, 2000, and December 2018. That's what I counted from because that's when I did it and I did it. I did it every day for a few hours. I would just pray, supplicate. I would be after work, I would spend hours with the father and the son crying, supplicating lamenting, being ashamed, and all that shame, I was being healed from that guilt and shame because some things I knew I did, I knew I not to do them, and I realized that it was if I didn't do them, they were forced upon me by someone else 
being very wicked and evil but close to me and I knew these people did it against me so mostly it's not what I did although I the Holy Spirit would every now and then remind me of uh, during the time for three and a half months I was reminded of my sins it would be a sin here and then a day nothing two days nothing another sin would be reminded of me of so that's how I was uh, repenting of sins so anything I could ever think for a uh, Holy Father re guys reminded me of and I repented of those sins and he took it all away and I was healed um, uh, you know I was healed off of off of, off of it um, he healed me of my depression. All of it was caused, brothers and sisters, by demonic entities that were, and witches and warlocks who were illegally attacking me because of who I am spiritually, how because of how heavily also then later, how heavily spirit of Heavenly Holy Father's glory rests upon us. That's why also a lot of you are so heavily attacked also. So remember that. Remember that the Lord is still in His holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before Him. Habakkuk 2.20, because guys, He is coming. And you must remember, as David told us in Psalm 23, I will fear no evil, for thou, for thou art with me, thy rod, thy rod and thy staff. They comfort and protect me. Remember that if Holy Father, as Yeshua Mashiach, only He can still that storm whether it's mental, physical, spiritual, financial, whatever is going on in your life, He will still that storm in the name of Yeshua Mashiach. I still that storm in the name of Yeshua Mashiach for you right now. Because Psalm 107, 29 says, quotes, He still the storm to a whisper, and the waves of the sea were hushed. Matthew 8, 27, Yeshua quotes, says, The men were amazed and asked, Quotes, what kind of a man is this? Even the winds and the waves obey him. And as wisdom always, I've been telling you past year or so, Proverbs 24, verse 16, for a righteous man may fall seven times and an Abba father will rise him again, but the wicked fall to their calamity with no possibility to ever rise up again. Hallelujah. But you will rise up again. You are about to be resurrected as long as you're going to keep your eyes on Jesus. For you must live and breathe. Yeshua Mashiach has a lifestyle. You must come out of that world. Don't pay attention to how your neighbors live. I don't care what, what you, wh where you live, how beautifully you live. You live. It, it's to stay in nature. Concentrate on prayer time and studying that covenant. Study what the covenant. Sorry, I'm hot. Study what the covenant is. Study what, what who Jesus is, study who the Holy Spirit is, study and show Abba Father how much, especially you Jews, whoever you are, not just Jews, show regard to Jesus as the only begotten Son of Heavenly Holy Father, but also God in a human body, in a human flesh, because He is the God of this earth in accordance to Matthew 28, 18. 1 John 2, 5 says, But whoever keeps His word truly, the love of Yahweh, the love of God is perfected in him, by this, we know that we are in Him. In who? In Abba Father, in Jesus Christ. And I address all these kind of verses, brothers and sisters, how you know that Abba Father dwells in you and Jesus dwells in you and you in Him. Also in that three-hour video, and I give you verses on that topic, and I read, I think, uh, half chapters on it, and I explain just about every verse. And or I pause and the Holy Spirit was speaking and or I tell you what the Father was adding it on. You will know when it's me speaking or when it's the Father speaking. You By now you should know, but it doesn't matter. It's still, those are, the, those are His teachings. Remember, never add on to His teachings, especially nothing from the book of Revelation. If you don't know Revelation or the prophecies from Revelation, drop it. Revelation it has a warning not to... Uh, how where it has a hidden blessing at the beginning of the book of Revelation there's a hidden blessing and it says how to get it which is to read the book of Revelation out loud to someone else and that's your collect you can collect a hidden blessing for you and your family so I would do that the moment you can please starting today and also if you don't know that uh, towards the end father did it on purpose for very perverse wicked evil people with wicked evil hearts 
that if you uh, the warning towards the end of the book of revelation is against those whom uh, who pervert his teachings who pervert his son jesus christ of nazareth as the word of god as the word of yahweh because when you pervert the teachings of jesus christ of nazareth you pervert what abba father said and therefore you symbolically pervert his son jesus christ of nazareth you mock him and you mock the son and the father and there is a way even to the where that can be implemented on wisdom and holy spirit and if you understand that wisdom teaches in the book of proverbs she is a tree of life and yeshua revealed to us a secret that holy spirit is a tree of life and then if you know anything about isaiah chapter 28 that abba father has done a very strange deed that very strange deed and that consists of many things many things from military on this earth um, supernatural resources part which part will be also part of the latter rain blessings but it will always be in perfect consistence with the new covenant and who the Holy Spirit is who Jesus is and who Abba Father is and who we are as his children only his children can hear the voice of Abba Father and Yeshua HaMashiach and therefore we follow the lamp wherever he is going I know that it's you and if it's not you don't don't pretend that you hear God if you doubt that you don't you need to get rid of that doubt because you need to get rid of any that's a fear and to get rid of it so you need to ask Holy Father I want to make sure that I hear, hear you and your son and Holy Spirit in the name of Yeshua Mashiach, real good and real well so what do you do you're gonna start reading scriptures every day and you're gonna read them out loud and you're gonna ask questions and then if you ask a question you're gonna wait for an answer write it out so the answer might not come right away then write out the or highlight what what you the topic you are asking about and continue on reading fall asleep to scriptures out loud on my channel I'll uh, open my subscriptions public so that each and every one of you you would use some people are not my friends and I'm subscribed to them because I'm observing them for uh, other purposes as commanded by the father but what I'm telling you is use brother Casey of rivers in a desert and he has an anointed voice and he he reads as the scriptures are recorded so he doesn't add on to them he doesn't change the names um, you need to however be aware as the wise bride of Christ that a year Jesus Yeshua HaMashiach is Yeshua HaMashiach of Nazareth and Abba Father commanded us to call him Holy Father under the New Covenant and of course also that we can call him as the instead of God Almighty don't try not to use them just call him Yahweh or when you praise and worship Yahweh I praise you when you pray to him say Holy Father in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach Jesus Christ of Nazareth because you are supposed to be a wise virgin and I posted Bible codes on that also so you should find them and and look for them I love you I gotta go brothers and sisters and remember if we say that we have fellowship with him and we walk in darkness we lie and we do not practice the truth first John chapter 1 verse 6 Jesus says Revelation 3 3 11 I am coming soon hold on fa hold fast hold on to what you have so that no one will take your crown alleluia praise be to Jesus Philippians chapter 3 verse 8 quotes yet indeed I also count all things loss for the excellence of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord for for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and count them as rubbish that I may gain Christ May you gain Christ today, Jesus Christ, Yeshua Mashiach of Nazareth. Amen.